So in health news, an aspirin a day just may help keep cancer away. That's according to a brand new British study. Researchers found that people who took aspirin for 10 years could reduce the risk of bowel, esophageal, and stomach cancer by 30% or more. And when it comes to treating cancer, there's always hope that there will be that one cure-all drug. Well, Local 10 Medical Specialist Dr. Ari Sofer tells us about a study into a new medication that may prove to be a powerful new tool to fight cancer. I feel great. Um, I'm doing no more activities. I work 10-hour uh, days. Um, I walk every day when I get off work. Um, just normal. Not words you might expect from someone who is battling cancer in her liver and lungs. But 47-year-old Carolyn Bogany seems to be on the road to recovery as she takes part in an investigational drug trial. Fortunately, we were able to identify a very specific genetic abnormality in her cancer that led to her participation in one of our clinical trials. Carolyn first had breast cancer and was treated with traditional chemo and radiation. But when the cancer reappeared in her liver and lungs, those traditional therapies didn't work. This new experimental drug is different. Most of the newer cancer drugs are designed to hit a very specific protein or target in cancer cells. By targeting a specific gene in Carolyn's tumors, the drug is shrinking them. You can see before and after. Five months of this new treatment, these new targeted drugs, giving hope to both doctor. Every year there are more and more newly approved therapies, um, and so the pace of improvement is increasing. And patient, with some help from positive thinking. I believe in the power of healing, and a very spiritual person, and I think just having that overall faith has uh, resulted in, in my healing. Advancements in targeted cancer therapies may one day allow us to customize treatment to each individual patient and even lead to the development of vaccines to prevent cancer from developing in the first place. With your second opinion, I'm Dr. Ari Sofer. All right, thanks, doctor. And there are currently 50,000 clinical trials underway in the U.S., but many are delayed because of a lack of enrollment. Health experts say cancer patients really need, need to be their own advocates in seeking out some of these investigational studies. Victor?